Hi, so uh, let's talk about transposons, retro transposons. Now these are RNA transposons. So they will have an RNA intermediate later on. Um, that is the only, okay, not the only thing. That is what makes it so different from the previous video transposons, the DNA transposons. So RNA transposons are class 1, as mentioned before. I don't know why they classify it that way. But anyway, um, why are they called retro transposons? Because retro means backwards. So this is a normal flow from your set of genes, from your genomes. You transcribe it, you can splice it, alternate splicing a bit, whatever, to make your uh, set of transcriptomes. And then from your transcriptomes, you can make another set of proteins after translating it into a proteomes. You can fold it differently or whatever. So, this is a normal flow of genetic information. Whereas for reverse trans, um, for retrotransposons, they have an en enzyme called reverse transcriptase. We will call it RTA, RTAs here. And it will reverse transcribe RNA into DNA. More specifically, single-stranded RNA into double-stranded DNA. We'll see that later. Okay? So, um, it has a limitation though. Like DNA polymerase, which replicates DNA. Okay, there's replication actually. Replication. Yeah, like DNA polymerase, which replicates DNA. It can only add, um, uh, these are DNA nucleotides, okay, triphosphate, DNA triphosphate nucleotides. So two phosphates will come out to connect, to make a DNA. So you only can add these free DNA nucleotides to a free 3 prime N. That means it will need a primer, like your DNA replication. So um, if you haven't already watched the video on DNA replication, it's a good time to go watch it now before continuing. Anyway, um, for those of you who are familiar already, so that's why you need, oh sorry, DNA or RNA, uh, yeah, sorry, uh, the DNA or RNA templates. Yeah, using complementary base pairings. Pairing. That's why you need a primer. Okay? Just to take note. Um, this is how uh, RNA transposon looks like. So use the next page. So, this is how it looks like. And um, these genes here, don't worry about it too much. These are labeled this way because um, this whole thing is pretty similar to your HIV virus, which is a retrovirus from retrotransposon. The reason why it's called a retrovirus is because over here you see after it fuses with the membrane, it enters, and then the uh, RNA genome is reverse transcribed, just like your um, your transposon is reverse transcribed, uh, transcribed into double-stranded DNA and integrated here. These steps here are exactly the same as your retrotransposon. So yeah, that's why you see it's labeled LTRs for long terminal repeats. Okay? That's why the ENV genes um they are like they make the the glycose protein spikes. Okay, no, this is um a retrotransposon, so it might or might not have it. Most I think most of them don't have it. So anyway, in the retrovirus, it will make the, the envelope, EMV stands for envelope genes. Uh, yeah, it will make the envelope proteins. And your GAC genes will make all these little things here. These are your um, protein subunits inside. And your RNA uh, nucleocapsid protein. Yeah, it will make all that. And your polymerase genes, pol, um, yeah, pol stands for polymerase. It makes all the enzymes, okay? And there are three enzymes that are very important in this which is your RNA, that means it digests RNA, H, okay, and um, reverse transcriptase, as we mentioned, and the integrase, integrase, which is somewhat like your, to, your um, transposase enzyme, which you saw in the previous video. So here, I just changed the label for it to become integrase because it has the same activity as your um, 
as in the previous video in in the transposes. Okay, long the long terminal repeats. These are direct repeats. That means if you start with ATTC over here, you will also start with ATTC. Okay, that's why this class of as long as you see long terminal repeats that are direct repeats, okay, you can call them um, LTR transposons. Okay, these are LTR transposons. In the next video, I will show you a bit more of um, non LTR transposons. Okay, anyway, let's get on to the replication and retrotransposition mechanism. So from here, you have to re uh, translate it and you add your modifications here. Okay, so these are the same. Now this middle section here, after transcription, sorry, not translation, after transcription, we are going to classify it in a different way, okay? They are the same thing, just that we are going to classify it differently. Okay, okay. so this section here is the same, just that this we are going to call it a unique sequence, and it's number 5, I don't know why. So it's U5, U3, unique sequence 3. And this this part here, just before unique sequence 3, is a bit special. It is um, the polypurine track. So purines are the nitrogenous bases A and G. Okay, A will bind with T, and C will bind with G. Hydrogen bonding. So these are your purine bases. So there are many, many here, and they're single-stranded. Oh, and in RNA is not T is not diamine is uracil. Yeah. So. Anyway, from here, remember as previously mentioned, DNA poly. Um, sorry, reverse transcriptase can only add DNA nucleotides to free three prime ends. So we will need primers, and to start off, it uses a tRNA primer. Yeah, I'm not sure whether this can be charged or not. Like whether there's an amino acid attached here. But let's say is, there isn't, okay? Just take it as there isn't. So it will bind here and it will act as your primer. Now you have a free 3 prime OHN. So you will extend it all the way. Like that. Okay? Actually, there's the. Ah, never mind. The cap won't be extended. So it won't be copied because it's slightly modified. So anyway, that's what I think. Um, from here, this will now shift over. And this, because it's a direct repeat, so it's complementary, it'll bind here. This is no longer needed. So, sorry. Yeah, that's how tRNA, tRNA is used as a primer. And from here, you can extend this 3 prime end all the way. Like that. Yep. So that's how you can make a single strand of DNA, single stranded DNA, from tRNA. And the enzyme that does all this is your... Um, reverse transcriptase. Now, another enzyme comes in, which is your RNAs H. Okay, it's a special kind of RNAs that will degrade the entire thing and leave behind only the highlighted portion, the orange highlighted portion. Okay, you see why? So it's degraded, and this is left behind here. So, yeah, now you have a free 3' prime OHN, which you can extend all the way to make this portion just like that so now using this okay this three prime n okay this is no longer needed using this three prime n you can extend the whole the rest of it to make your double stranded dna like that so this is the process of reverse transcription yeah and as mentioned before it's the same this portion here is the same as I mean, yeah, it's just another way of organizing your genes. So, after this, your integrase will come, bind to the um, the repeats in the same process as the previous video. All right, it will integrate it by excising this end and putting it into another chromosome here. Then, and because it's the same process, you get your terminal. You get your target site duplications. Yeah. And as you can see, it's another chromosome exactly the same. So it's replicated and it's um retro transposed. Retro transposed. Okay. 
yeah, thanks for watching. And um, in the next video, there is another type of retro transposons, which yeah, I'll cover a short, a small bit of it. So yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye.